Welcome to another episode of D&D Map Making for Encounters, Episode 2. Today, we'll be doing a boule. Now, I don't know why it's French. I had to Google it to make sure I'm saying it right. Because I don't know for sure. And I'm pretty sure there's a few out there who are confused as well. But apparently, it's French? Question mark? I'm, I'm not sure. But... Think of a boule as a, a, let's just go ahead and read the description, being a land shark, so to say. A boule is a massive predator that terrorizes any lands it inhabits. Also called a land shark, it lives only to feed. Irascible and rapacious. Boulets fear no other creature, and they attack with no regard for superior numbers of strength. I'm doing this unedited. So be it. <laughs> Uncensored. I, I, I did. We're doing it. We're going for it. They have the following features. Underground hunters, wandering monsters, and arcane creation. Challenge rating 5. Large monstrosity unaligned. So, they would be... Let's see here. They're ground predators. They would hunt through fields... You can, I probably wouldn't say in caves, but let's go ahead and read the Underground Hunter beat. Uh, Brulees use their powerful claws to tunnel through the earth when they hunt. Heedless of obstruction, uproot trees, cause landslides and loose slopes and leave sinkholes behind them. Vibration in the soil and rock alert the Brule to movement. It shoots to the surface, its jobs spread wide to make its attack. It's a wandering monster. Boulet ranges across temperate lands, feeding across any animal. Humanoids that makes it cross. These creatures dislike dwarf and elf flesh, although they often kill them before realizing what they are. So, Boulet loves halfling meat the most, and it's never happier than chasing a plump halfling across the field. I like to say goblins are a part of that. <laughs> For my campaign, at least. But, <laughs> having a goblin that... And, have a uh, creature encounter be, you see ahead of you uh, several sh forms and creatures uh, coming out of the brush uh, a few dozen meters ahead of you. Uh, several goblins and a hobgoblin are panicking, running away, uh, not directly toward you, but off across the street as you feel slight vibrations into the ground. And suddenly you see nothing but a large maw come up and devour one of these creatures whole. One of the smaller goblins. The hobgoblin then returns and tries to retaliate against the beast. But failing to do so, it pierces its hide. It has a armor class of 17. Natural armor. That being pretty high. So, they have no lair. But roams a haunting, hunting territory. Up to 30 miles wide. It's so criterion for territory. It's availability for food. When it's eating everything in the area, it moves on. These creatures often home and on humanoid settlements, terrorizing them until their panic residents have fled or until the boule is slain. Or they've eaten everybody. That also works. It doesn't say these things can't work together. Imagine a pack hunter. All creatures shun boules, which treat everything that moves as their feared, even other predators and boules. Ah, there it is. Boules come together only to mate, resulting in bloody acts of claws and teeth, which usually ends the male's death and consumption. I can imagine it's breeding season. Arcane creation. Some sages believe that the boule is a result of a mad wizard's experiments at crossbreeding snapping turtles and armadillos with infusions of demon ichor. Relays have been thought to be extinct at different times, but after years without sighting, the creatures inevitably reappear. Because their young are almost never seen, some sages suspect that boulets maintain secret nesting grounds for which adults strike out into the world. That works. Their notable characteristics, being tremor sense about 60 feet around, about 94 hit points, or 9d10 plus 45, having a healthy health pool for a challenge rating 5. They have standing leap. Boulet's long jump is up to 30 feet. His high jump is 15 feet, with or without a running start. Allow you to play leveled maps. You could have, if they try to climb up a tree, tree be gone for one. And they could jump up and snap it in half with their powerful maul. Their bite attack, one target, 4d12 plus 4 piercing damage with a plus 7 to hit. Ouch. Deadly leap. If a boulet leaps... 
or jumps at least 15 feet as part of its movement, it can then, as an action, land on its feet in a space that contains one or more creatures. Each of those creatures exceed a 16 DC strength or dexterity saving throw, the target's choice, or be knocked prone and take 3d6 plus 4 or 14 bludgeoning damage plus 14 or 3d6 plus 4 slashing damage. Successful save, you'll only take half, is it knocked prone, but is pushed 5 feet out of the boule space into an unoccupied space at the creature's choice. Creature's choice being the game master. If no unoccupied space within range, the creature instead falls prone within the boule space, even if it fails that saving throw. Now, let's think of this. What would be the best and worst place to encounter a boule? Well, first off, let's create a new dungeon. Uh, let's do the default 25 by 25 because we can make it larger if we need to. We can make it smaller. But 25 by 25 tends to make it a, a reasonable file map size. That's not too crazy. Ah, uh, let's see here. I see no reason why it couldn't be in the snow. They can't swim. It doesn't say anything about swimming. They have a 40-foot walking speed and a 40-foot burrowing speed. Now, we could do a black and white. You can have make your own map. But... For the sake of things, we could do desert, snow, or plains. Let's stick with plains for now. Let's get a nice little planar biome going. Now, we can leave it as it is. We can uh, spruce it up a little bit. Add a little bit of toxic lake, lush grass, flames, lava bubble. <laughs> Have a little dragon's land nearby. Do many things. Let's let's give them a little bit of solstice. Let's give them a little bit of a pond, shall we? Uh, let's see. Give them a give them a little bit of a pond somewhere. Ah, uh, let's do in the bottom right section. Now that's not bad. It's a bit of a bit of a pond-ish kind of structure. It doesn't look right, does it? So we need to round it out, most likely with. Ground stone, maybe. Let's edge paint that. Ah, yes. That looks much better. Going around town. Adding a little bit of a drag out trowel right there. Yes. Like a ravine kind of looking thing. That works out fairly well. Like a water hillside, all that stuff. Doesn't look too terrible. Now, they could, you can make this be deeper. You can make it so that they swim in there. But it doesn't say it can swim. Doesn't mean it can't try. It did use the swim, which it doesn't have any bonuses. But its dexterity is an 11, so it doesn't have any penalties either. So give give the players a little bit of a uh, a false hope, maybe. Make it shallow water. It looks deeper than it really is. Let's see. Is there a, a lighter? No, that's the same one. Maybe not sea water. Here's normal water. Hmm, maybe this would work better. Have the paint. Ah, yes. This does look much better than that other bright little nonsense. Maybe add a little bit of a sand bar in the middle of it, but keep in mind that I could jump. So, let's let's do that. Let's add a uh, little bit of a sand patch in here. Yeah, a little bit of a... No, maybe not there. Let's do a... Uh, uh, just, uh, dr just uh, round it out a little bit. Give them something to uh, jump over to. It's a bit. It's a bit of a water patch. That works. So next, hmm. maybe I have an open field kind of feeling to it. Forest floor. Maybe let's look and see that's going. Oh no, that's for default. That's not. That won't do. That won't do at all. I guess we'll stick with. Dark grass. Ah, yes. Nice little forest biome. Yes. Get things around in the corners. Patch it up a little bit. Not too heavy. Then you need to mix it in a little bit more. Get a two by two. 
Yeah, well, it's already rolling that. Uh, let's see. Dot grass, mossy. Add a pitch of moss. No, 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 no. That'd be better for edge. Uh, grow some moss here. With having a sprite of gravel. Yes. Yes. Some moss is growing on the side. You can have that be a little bit of a ledge. But this, that, that won't do. That won't do at all. Hmm. Let's see here. We could go for... Lush. Does Lush look good? Ah, it's not bad. We don't want to go that hard, though. Green grass. Hmm. Stick with the scheme. Stick with the scheme. Ah, maybe a little savanna patches. Ooh, not bad. Bit of patch of grass there. Ah, uh, patch of grass here. Get a singular splotch there. Ah, yes. That doesn't look too bad. That's a bit of patchy. We're going to be putting a lot of trees, so right now it looks kind of barren. Not exactly the best. Hmm. Standard moss, maybe. Keep some mossy patches around the area. It says moss. But this will do. That will do just fine. I would like this instead here. Give it some uh, gravelly bits. Maybe not that. Hmm. Maybe. Yes, urban asphalt. Throw that in there. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Sand is already running well for us. We don't. Instead of sand, how about we pull that? That's not bad. It may be better if I do grass and all. Savannah would look better in there. Maybe the usual plains. Hmm. Have an individual square, you know, potentially for the wizard to go to, but it's actually a trap. Hmm. Edge paint. Go there. Hmm, that's not bad. Not bad, not bad. Give him a little bit. Put a tree. A tree or a, a log. Ah, give him, give him the ability to go to it, yes. Enjoying this a little bit too much. Furniture? No, 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 no. Miscellaneous? Hmm. Couple of stones. Randomly push over to the side. Again, remove the lock. Ah, placed periodically. And just, just a, a, a few pieces. Stone too. Again, random locations. It's a forest. You never know what's going to be in it. Now, done with that, we could have the forest be on fire, but no, 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 no. Vegetation, that will be good. Let's go ahead and close these, that we won't be going next. There's not going to be any loot. You could, if you're hunting one, however, have it be part of a road or a path, and it's uh, part of the animal hunting grounds, and it's known to ambush travelers on the road, or adventurers who go off the beaten path. Maybe hunting nearby goblins, or maybe it could be ambushing people who are hunting goblins, like stated earlier. Yes. Blood? Nah. Boats? If we had a bigger water source? Nah. Bottles? Boxes? Bridges? Ooh, maybe. Nah. I think I'll be just sticking with the vegetation for now. Dead tree? Hmm. Mayhaps. Mayhaps. Autumn tree, bushes, 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 yes. Let's get some, uh, let's get some bushes in here. Let's, let's, let's make this one kind of a little bit larger than standard. Maybe you can hide within one. Let's, let's create a line of bush types. Just, uh, creating a little line there. Maybe a splatter over here. Oh, yeah. We're gonna have probably not a lot of trees. You will see that you could probably use the savanna grass as upturned dirt sources. Have it trailing in, like you have these as pits going in, pits going out. It is a large creature, so it will be two by two. So give it as you will. No, that'd probably be enough of those. Tree, tree, 
Hmm. Let's go ahead and drop a a decently sized tree right here. Give them give them a little bit. You can jump across to that side. Yes, that's coming together. Ah, uh, yes. Gotta randomly rotate. Give it a little bit of work and flavor. At least add the shadows into it. Use everything you have. Uh, around here, probably have a fallen tree denoting maybe something's knocked it down. It isn't probably going to be just off the beaten path. We could have the beaten path go through here. That's, that's actually a good idea. Let's do that real quick. Pans? No, 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 no. We're going to... Ah, cave floor is not a bad one for a, uh, a road. Yes. It's not bad at all. Maybe... Dirt ground. Ah, dirt ground seems to look better. It's opinionated. Do as you will. That works. Uh, keep it rough around the edges. Coming off the road. Let's get some more trees. And on that text. You could add text if you wish to add flavor to it. Signatures and all that stuff. Maybe I should start signing my own creations. Yes. Wouldn't be a bad idea before I start uploading this stuff. Uh, bushes. Bushes. Oh, that's too large. I guess this will be a large berry bush. Of some sort. Ah, uh, maybe. Hmm. Keep things fresh. Ah, uh, sporadic. Two berry bushes would work. Ah, wow, that's another tree. Bush, bush. These are small bushes. Overlapping and growing around rocks, I'd say. They enjoy that. Auto rotation's not on, so forgive me. Rotate on, rotate on. Give him a little bit of cover if you have a ranger for whatever reason you want to throw range people at him as well. Hmm. Some more trees. Uh, needs to be a bit larger. Uh yeah, that'll do. Give some plenty of tree cover. More trees, yes. Sassafras. Sassafras. Sassafras? It's a sassafras. Add one there. And perhaps there. Mm, ever motion plants. Uh, winter bushes. More trees. Large tree. Ah. That's not a bad idea. Singular. A large tree that goes off the map. No, 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 no. I don't want to go that large, I guess. Rotate it a little bit. Add a random smack to it. You don't want to add too much foliage. For it will prevent players from moving around. So that would be a problem. But we could add one right here. Potentially. Uh... Ah, uh, here's that rotten trunk. Mm. A random rotation. Ah, uh, that'll work. Uh, probably amongst that. Maybe get a different type of log. Long log. Spiked log. Could have the goblins carrying one. Dead tree branch. A stack of logs. Could have been uh, some deforestation happening in the area. Mm. A pile of logs? No. No. There's a rotten. Here we go. Some rotten trunks. Uh, random orientations. And there. And let's see. I would like to place this under. There we go. Good. Looking looking pretty good. Uh, let's roll one more of these. Random orientation. Ah, no. I would like that and that. Yes, there we go. Maybe another 
piece add on level orientation. Yes, this is already looking quite well. And we're already 20 minutes in. This will probably be a short encounter. You could have it be part of the nest. Maybe there's a surface nest somewhere. But the way I would run a boule is I would either have it be an ambush. Like, it would be a happy accident. <laughs> happy accident would be just walking across the way. You start feeling like tremors into the ground. Or you notice combat or motion off to the side. Something's running from it. Or it's just silently stalking someone in your party. They happen to be of a smaller stature. They could mistake it as a hobbit. You could mistake it as a goblin. That's what I like to do. Have a goblet person in my party. I have I tease them a lot with it. I have yet to uh, drop the bomb, so to say. But it shouldn't be too difficult. Add a few more to the top. Don't want to kind of prevent them from going too much out of bounds. Maybe maybe a few more trees. Yes, I have used that tree. I have not used this one. Make it a little bit large. Random right rotation. Ah, outside of the map. Ah, map. Haven't used that one. Maybe a little bit larger. Random rotation. There. Seems a little bit droll. There. Maybe, maybe some more coloration. Uh-huh. Well, yes. Make this a one. Patched. Patched, patched, patched. Make it seem like just, just patches of random grass growing all over the place. So, you can uh, have a boule, or you can have a creature. You can see a deer or uh, some type of other animal nearby getting a drink from the pond. A nice little cozy area looking here. And... It can be... Ah, that's not a bad idea. Improving the the work. No, 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 no. That'll be fine. I think the map looks fine. This is good. It's quite easy. It's it's not difficult to make a map like this. It's literally just throwing things all over the place. You take it as you will. I literally just did that. So, it's... You can have an unsuspecting, let's say, a deer, a fawn, maybe. Uh, or a buck. You can have a... a uh, small rodent who is sitting there and you notice it drinking uh you can have it be a uh another creature such as a bullywug which is the small frog creature that uh foul ancestry unruly diplomacy and amphibian allies yes the, like i just like you can have even it be another person a uh a villager from the nearby village has come by uh gathering some firewood and stuff like that just collecting he stops by to uh, get a uh, drink and refill his canteen uh when suddenly he just gets devoured by the ground because the creature is a two by two which would be about right here so Again, the accent's coming out of nowhere. I'm not British. I think it's just because I'm nervous. Uh, well, again, unedited. I'll keep that in. <laughs> so, a belay would... I, I like to use them as ambush predators. They like everything. They enjoy everything. Again, kind of like the basilisk. But considering it can burrow, it can also disengage from combat whenever it wants to. With, with the exceptions of certain... X-ray abilities, uh, scrying divinity spells that could chase its location if the objective is to like to chase it down or remove it from the vicinity. Uh, you can't really drive these creatures off. They will constantly chase after you, as I said earlier. They're fearless. They will just keep pushing you down. They'll just keep going for it. Ah, here's a few more bushes. Uh, yeah. Those stations are pretty nice. Let's, let's keep going. Cactuses. Have those desert maps. I believe this is part of one of the mod packs. Yes. Keep going with that. Um, use them as... You can use them as ambushes. You could uh, have a pair that uh, your presence in the area has interrupted their spawning cycle. The male and the female. You can have the female being just slightly larger, uh, darker color on the male. 
uh, do traditional, like, different size kind of stuff. You, like, keep everything large, unless you want to create an alpha, like I did with the Basilisk. Uh, alpha, you probably want to up it to one size, make it a huge. That'd be a three by three, big boy. Uh, you pull an alpha out of here. I mean, I wouldn't do a huge alpha. I'd have a large alpha, and it would probably do a whale, like, or, uh, it would probably just be able to hit harder. I, I wouldn't really do an alpha with a boule. It being a challenge rating 5, just having two boules would already be a massive challenge. Considering they're just so mobile. There's burrow and movement speed being 40 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. That is 8 squares. It's already more than your traditional rogue can go. I mean, you can get the uh, barbarians with rage, get an extra 10. So it's about that same movement. You can have haste, you can double and keep it up with it. But if it burrows, it just goes straight down. So there's nothing anybody could do without it, without maybe some gravitational nonsense, I guess. If you manage to put it into the uh, hoe that it just burrowed into the ground. Roll 20 has a lot of common assets you can use. You can use it for Roll 20, or you could print this map out, use it in real person. I mean, either way is fine. But it's going to be a uh, quicker, shorter session, considering. A bit of an ambush forest map. You can use this map probably for bandits. You could probably use this map for a goblin ambush. Have them like hiding in the bushes here. Or have a caravan dropped right here. Trying to rescue people. Again, you can use this map for as many things you can think of. I don't mind. It's D&D. &D. You can homebrew. Uh, have a dragon fight in here. Kind of like how my campaign still fighting that dragon. It's going quite crazy. So... If anybody has any comments, suggestions, or just uh, downright critiques to tell me how bad I am, please leave it down below. I will welcome everything to uh, and take everything with a grain of salt, hopefully, if you're being too harsh. But I won't dismiss anything you guys say, uh, unless, I mean, it's completely crazy. Again, I know I'm keeping this stuff in here. Why not? i got to be honest with people. I like being honest. But... If you want to see more of this, please like, subscribe. I mean, I'm going to be trying to throw these out. I think I've decided to throw as many of these out as I can. Uh, I will be doing D&D &D general content. Uh, Twitch, I'm streaming Rotec, all that fun stuff. But you didn't hear come here to say that. But uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see what you guys do next time. I'll probably pull another random creature. Ah, I'll probably do carrying crawlers. You show off my graveyard map. Maybe make another one. But, again, take care, everybody.